Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Actually, today I'm going to show you how to connect to database through Java by using GDPC technology. Actually, I launched my Clips ID. Now let's create a small project. Simple Java project. Provide the name for this project. For example, I'm writing first connection to database any name you can write no problem if you provide any spaces to so you will write finish now expand your project you will get src folder now right click on that go to new create a package if you want and uh, in this package, write a package name com dot very dot gdpc. This sort of package I created. Now, uh, actually, for this uh, application, we need a driver, gdpc driver. So, I'm going to connect this uh, Java application with the Oracle database. So, to add that Java to the build path, we should go to build path configure bit build path and we should search for a jar that's add external jar so here that jar is this is the path c c okay i'll show you exactly go to c drive you will have oracle mm, exe if you have the installed oracle software in your computer so go to that and app oracle product 11.2.0 server you will find a folder by name jdpc now lip and there is ojdpc 6 jar this is the jar provided for the database oracle database 11g version so click open say apply okay so here you are we have that now let's uh, create a class here say class say so for example you will take test with main method okay now let's clean this one so we have uh, mostly we will we will write to retrieve write to retrieve data from a table actually I write a table before um, I'm going to show you I create a table command line okay this is a skill command line I'm going to connect to that uh, database system slash manager this is the password and it's connected let's see that uh, table click from product see this is a table it has three columns one is number its primary key actually this is the ID this is the name of the product and this is the price so I, I, I want to get the these three records in my Java program so let's write code for that now <coughs> to retrieve data from database just it's a comment now let's go First, create connection object. Connection con equals to another import. And before connection object, we are going to load the driver class. So for that, we are going to read class of class class dot name method, and we pass the class name. That is oracle dot no that is gd okay what's the name i think the name is oracle dot gdpc dot driver dot oracle driver this is the name of the class it will uh, throw an exception this class not found exception if this class will not there so it will throw this exception so <clears throat> I will go for uh, creating connection class object create 
connect con or connection let's write complete connection object now con equals to driver manager dot get connection with the three parameters here is yeah the first is the URL you should write GDPC colon Oracle colon at the rate then no then colon at the rate local host colon you should provide the port number and the database name so this is the protocol actually is the protocol for that and this is the local host because the database is on our system on the local system so we are providing local host if it is on a remote system so you should provide the IP for that and this is the port where the software is installed and uh, this is the database name and here we are going to provide this, uh, the, the username system is the username for the database and here we are going to provide the password manager manager is the password for my database and semicolon so what is the problem ok we didn't write connection ok now you will write no problem connection con equals to none now it is gone so let's go for connection is created now let's create statement create statement object object now let's go and write statement st equals to import now here is two statement take care that Make sure that you import the right one java.sql.statement. So now uh, st equals to con dot create statement. Now statement is also created. Now try to create reason set create result set object this object will store all the result which is retrieved from the database result result set rs equals to null import it now write rs equals to st dot execute query write the query here select which is the the column names p name p in p number p name and price from product product sorry product so product it's good now all the all the records which is in this table here all these records these three records will be stored in this result set object now to retrieve this we are going to write while loop rs dot next this method will retrieve a boolean see the return type is boolean so if it was true it means the another record is also available it's just, when it is false so it means that no other records it means that this is the end of the result set so for that we are going to write a sophie statement out i'd like uh, product uh, let's say product id so for that we will say rs dot of one 
this is the first we specify the index of the column the first column value will come in display here now we will say now what we will we will we will give some space we will say plus and some space we will provide and also we will say product name plus product name plus now we will say rs dot string the name is in string so we will get for string and same like the previous one repeat it pro product price okay like this and plus mm, rs dot the price will be on in the double in the double form yeah price we'll see we will say double okay rs dot get double of column three now for many time this will be executed and it will show the exact what is going on oh this is here so we will go for this and actually this throws some exception we will catch here see skill exception is strong by this so if we cast it the rules will go on and save it and this will also go now let's uh, close this objects in close it in reverse order like first close Result set if R is not equals to null. So we will close R is R is dot close. Now it will also throw a SQL exception. I try to catch it. And go for the second object in reverse style. We will go for statement if statement not equals to null. So st dot close now go for that and uh, catch it now for third option f uh, go to the last one what was the last connection here yeah? not equals to null now say simple connection dot close and as it was yeah program is over let's see whether it is any problem is there or not to run click this button run button yeah it's launching yeah here is the output see product ID not to product name book and price is 200 let's see whether it is correct or wrong this is the database 102 book and the price is this much product ID for second sorry product ID for second row 103 for fourth row 104 pen pencil 20 30 20 30 here yeah, here you are this is it thanks guys for watching this video subscribe to my channel to get the updates Thank you and uh, see you in next video. Next video I am going to provide some information how to update and insert data to the database through Java programs and uh, see you guys there and bye.